Monday evening and I actually couldn't find any bread reduced at Sainsbury's. There wasn't any reduced, well, not reduced much. So I chose this larger fresh loaf uh, for £1.30. The small one was a pound and I thought, well, for the extra 30p it was worth it to get the larger one. I just got two tins of peaches, 34p, and they've still got these pizzas instead of 350 if you've got a nectar card, down to 175 so I got one of those. Some decaffeinated Earl Grey tea, those are 170 and the um, cheese slices are still on special offer. Those are 160, 163. Let me just have a look. 160. And these are the reductions that I got. The avocados down from 160 to 10 pence, and one of those is extremely soft. But as I said, was it last week, the week before? Um, if you only get one out of the um, packet, it's worth the 10 pence. Some of these turkey slices there were quite a few of those 170 down to 10 pence a spinach and tomato quiche down to 10 pence this lovely oak smoked bacon and almond yak pate instead of 260 down to 10 pence a uh, scotch egg 250 down to 10 pence and the speciality radishes from 65p down to 10 pence and all in all I spent £7.73 as I was getting in my car to go out my neighbour called me out of the kitchen window and said she was going away for a few days and could I make use of these I said yes please she's given me two sweet potatoes, a carrot, an onion, there's an ordinary potato and some mushrooms. So we'll see what we can make of those. I'll keep the onion because that's quite firm and I've still got some of those onions that I got reduced so I shall use those first. And I went out foraging earlier on in the week and I got some gooseberries, some of them are quite big. I might pop them on my window so they're a little bit firm. And lots of lovely cherries. There are so many cherries. Some of them are going over. Just give them a good wash. And then they're ready to use. <clears throat> Actually, to tell you the truth, a lot of the cherries I don't actually cook, I just eat them. But I've, I've got an idea from that grandma's, uh, my grandma's cookbook, that Biro cookbook. I might, um, I might cook some. We'll see. Make sure you know what you're picking before you go out foraging there. But when it's all for free like this, and those. Free food this week. Lunch today, a bagel, toasted bagel, and they are Sainsbury's own brand bagels, and they are 5 for 85p. The mushrooms, a little bit of garlic, and I've just got some margarine on there as well. And I'm going to have some cherries. So that's my lunch today. Mushrooms on toast. And I thought I'd turn to my grandma's Biro recipe cookbook for some inspiration. And I thought I'd make some pancakes, some sweet cherry pancakes. Although I actually didn't add any sugar to this recipe. You could if you wanted to make them sweet. I didn't uh, add any sugar to the cherries either. Basically, it's just, I made half the recipe. Two ounces of the self-raising flour. Just a small pinch of salt. 
I'm actually using uh, Himalayan salt here, but you can use whatever salt you want to use. An egg, I just cracked an egg in there as well. And I just used just enough semi-skimmed milk to turn it into a pouring batter. And I gave it a good whisk with a fork. Ready to make some pancakes. I rewashed these cherries because they've been in the fridge a couple of days. Just taking the stalks out. I did add about an inch of water to the pan and I just simmered them for a minute or two whilst I was cooking the pancakes. I made two pancakes. Then I poured the cooling liquid through a sieve Gave it a bit of a squash down and because the cherries were nice and soft I could now remove the stones more easily. I then returned the stoned cherries and the liquid to the pan and I added some, just some cornstarch, a little bit of cornstarch mixed with some water, just to thicken it up. I'm serving the pancakes with this low-fat live yoghurt and it's from Marks and Spencers and they do have about five or six items that I think are really good value and they are really good value. This is actually cheaper than Lidl, it's 75p. I did think about buying some of those chicken legs from Marks and Spencers, they're still on special offer at um, 150 but it's so warm here I didn't want the oven on so I just got the live yoghurt so there we are cherry pancakes from my grandma's biro cookbook I met an old friend for a coffee and as I was sitting at the table I saw a bench full of reduced plants. We were at that garden centre that I normally go to. So after we'd had a three hour chat over a cup of coffee, I had a good look round. Um, the only thing I was thinking about that I saw was a fuchsia reduced to a pound. But in the end I didn't buy anything. But it was lovely to see my friend. I was working out when I got home. How long have we been friends? And I think we met about 1985. So almost 40 years. Take care, people.